Hi there! The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how easy it is to use the online edition of Vector Magic. Now, when the automatic settings are enabled, this process happens very quickly. Vector Magic will select what it believes to be the best settings for image type, quality, and color. So I will just input my image, allow that to load, and just like that, we already have a vectorized result. And you can zoom in here to see the work that's been done. Now, as you can see, this vectorization is accurate, but let's say for the purposes of this demonstration that this result was not to our liking. And in that case, we would just go over here to handpick settings and start the process over manually. So first, uh, the first question that's asked is uh, what type of image we've inputted between a photograph, an artwork with blended edges, or an artwork with non-blended edges. Now this is obviously not a photograph, so between these two options here, we can use this keyhole to match our image to the example. And we can see that our image includes anti-aliasing, which means that it is an artwork with blended edge. So we can either, since this is already populated, uh, we can click on this button here or we can click the next button. And secondly, the quality level of the image between high, medium, and low. And again, we'll use this keyhole to match our image to the examples. And since there is no apparent noise or blurriness, that means that this is a high quality image. And so we can click this button as well. And finally, uh, the last question that's asked is how the color should be handled. Um, with either uh, custom colors or unlimited colors. Uh, the custom colors option is recommended for images with 12 or fewer colors. Uh, choosing this option gives Vector Magic a bit of a roadmap, uh, reducing the likelihood of noise from uh, color guessing. However, uh, if your image has a wide array of color gradients, um, unlimited colors would be your best option. Uh, there's about five or six colors in this image though, so we can choose custom colors. And then this generates a list of color palettes over here on the right, as well as a uh, one palette in the mix that is already recommended. Now, if you look through the palettes and you find that you are missing a color, you can then go down to the custom palette and click on one of the tiles. And this will generate an eyedropper to find the color you're missing and add it to the chosen palette. Now since everything looks good, we can again click Next. And we've made no changes, so this is still our accurate result. And from there, all that's left to do is click Download. Thanks for watching.